okay you put your sample in xrd and you got a plot like this right like this like this right so this is 2 theta in degrees and this is intensity when the, there is single plot then the right only intensity if there are overlapping plots yes, then it is arbitrary intensity because the zero of your next plot starts from here yes. so it is not that actual intensity but you can say intensity arbitrary like this intensity arbitrary scale right yes, so you put it like this now these peaks correspond to specific planes of the unit cell right yes, so for example this is 10 this is 20 this is 30 and this is 40 right so when you move away from zero towards higher angles this means the value of interplanar spacings will decrease because interplanar spacings are mired in reciprocal space yes, reciprocating things so the higher will appear at lower angles and the lower values will appear at higher angles so if this is the unit cell like this like this and this is one plane and this is another plane so the distance between these two planes if it is if you go to the electron microscopy it is very simple lambda l is equal to rd so in the diffraction pattern if it is like this for example then these values are R1, R2, R3 and R1, R2, R3 correspond to D1, D2, D3 and what is this? D is equal to lambda L over R right? Yes, so if R is large D will be small if d is if r is small d will be large right so in reciprocal space you are reciprocating things so larger angles means smaller d values and shorter a uh, smaller angle means higher d values higher d values mean the interplanar spacings are far apart you got from this plot nowadays softwares are available and you have this is your d1 this is your d2 this is your d3 this is your d4 for example the software gives you this yes. when you do xrd in the xrd machine there is software which tells you about d1 d2 d3 yes, you got it here right now you got a list for example 5.4 angstrom 3.5 angstrom 2.1 angstrom and 1.5 angstrom right now you look into your material what is it yes. right yes. if it is clay then you will have to go to ICDD or JCPDS cards of clay that what sort of interplanar spacings and what sort of angles are there if it is granite or any mineral yes, the better the best way is that when you SEM of your sample it gives you a percentage of the creep uh, about 40 percent is alumina 
right yes, so the scm gives you elemental composition yes sir it gives you aluminum so if it is 40% 30% aluminum for example and you convert it into oxide then it will for example say 40% is alumina and 60% is silica so the scm will give you silicon and aluminum because it mirrors elemental composition yes. and you convert it into alumina and silica and their ratio is 2 3 right two alumina and three sio2 40 and 60 right yes sir so when you get this then look on the icdd cards right there there used to be books for these in the past nowadays they are available on the internet and x ray operators have these cards there yes sir and you look for all phases with similar composition what does a in 203 and 3 sio means it is a l4 s i 3 2 times 3 yes, 6 s i o 2 and 3 times o 6 so o 12 right now check it recheck it silicon has it it is minus 24 right alumina for example has plus 3 so it is plus 12 yes. right silicon for example has plus 4 and 4 times 3 is plus 12 this is neutral right so it 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 is a neutral phase electrically right yes sir the charge wise it is a neutral phase so always do rechecking so when you got this ratio from scm that this is the ratio of alumina and silica then you go to the icdd or jcpds cards yes sir and check that which phase of alumina has similar interplanar spacing once you saw that yes i have 5.4 i have 3.5 i have 2.1 i have 1.5 then look into the intensity for example if it is 100 it is 80 it is 40 it is 30 then are the intensities on you in your plots here here the highest peak is this one right yes, it must be 100 if it is not 100 this will mean that you have a herd of sheep right and there are many sheep in the herd because the crystals are like these things and there is one camel right very big camel among the sheep if you are seeing the 80 peak the 40 peak and 30 peak and the 100 is not there this means this is not that phase yes. because if you face a herd of sheep where a camel is also going on and you say i couldn't see the camel but i see sheep this means you are wrong yes or there is no camel yes, right so on the icdd cards what you have are jcpds cards you have two theta values in degrees right yes, d values in angstrom and i or i not intensity yes, in number right so if your first peak was for example at 10 at 10 to theta you had 5.4 and the intensity was 80 yes sir similar at 20 you had 3.5 and the intensity was 100 at 30 uh, 40 40 you had 2.1 
and the intensity was 40 and at 50 for example the intensity the deep spacing was a 1.5 and the intensity was 30 the jcp discard gives you information like this yes, right so you got this information from jpds card and then you compared your data if the intensity the 100 must be 100 if there is no preferred orientation preferred orientation means that all crystals within the sample are oriented in a particular direction a particular plane is appearing in front of you every crystal is in this plane so you will see this plane more than this plane yes sir x-rays are hitting are incident upon this plane and it gives you preferred orientation if you have powder sample then the orientation is random so you get equal response from all planes yes, but if the sample is usually when it is solid then and uh, there is preferred orientation of the crystal then you get only this phase uh, not only this phase but more intensity from this phase in the phase in comparison to the other and you have unreal high intensity for an other peak but if the sample is equally distributed randomly distributed within the sample holder then the 100 must be 100 yes, sir. right secondly the 80 doesn't mean it should be exactly 80 it can be 74 it can be 84 but it will never exceed this and it will never be lower than this yes. it is from the structure factor that this particular peak is giving higher intensity than this particular peak the 40 can be 45 it can be 35 but it can't be below 30 yes. similarly it can't be higher than 80 yes, so when the intensities and the values match this icdd card number is for example 4 454 it is the number of this card and it is showing you al2 o3 uh, uh, the name which i wrote there al4 al4 si3 al4 si3 o12 right so what will you say in your data analysis that relevant ka the data the experimental data the experimental data what is the experimental data the interplanar spacings and relevant intensities in intensities corresponding to the observed peak which you observed in your xrd yes, right were compared with were compared with several cards several relevant icdd or jcpds cards relevant means having similar composition yes, sir. right and all the interplanar spacings all the inter 
planar spacing spacings and relevant intensities intensities matched icdd or gcpds whichever you are using gcpds card number 4-4504 for al4 si3 o 12 right yes sir if there are a number of peaks which are na- at least minimum three peaks should match but the 100 must be 100 and the 80 40 30 can be variable yes, but the higher peak cannot be have intensity lower than the other relevant peak yes, because it is calculated this unit 7 